Here we are at Piocho Ranch, which is the intersection of a couple of our family's passions. Polo on the one hand and, and wine on the other. And oftentimes people say, well, what is the connection between polo and wine? And there are several, but the most important one is stewardship. The ingredients that are involved in turning out great polo ponies and as a consequence producing great polo teams. It's the same kind of commitment, dedication, and focus that's required to produce great wine. Polo is a game that's played between four players on each side. It's divided into time intervals that are called chuckers, and it takes a band of horses in order to play that game. It takes a combination of unbelievable preparation of those horses, the training of the players who ride them that are handicapped from minus two to 10, the strategy of that team as it comes together and the evaluation of the opponent. So it's, it's dynastic in effect. It's a team sport that requires the, the intersection of all of those elements in order to produce excellence. Wine, exactly the same thing. You start with the soil, which is the, the key ingredients the struggle that the vines have in getting through the soil, the quality of the vines, the culling and the nurturing and the caring of those vines. And then you start building over time. So we took those two themes, polo and wine, and as a family decided we would apply the same stewardship to both. That we weren't short-term oriented, that what we wanted to do is produce excellence in each of those combined disciplines. And what we found was amazingly the same tools of, of patience, commitment, dedication were necessary. If you're in a hurry to do either wine or polo ponies, you're in big trouble. Because the patience and the scarcity of what is involved becomes the premium. In great wine, the culling and the decreasing of the tonnage that's available on each acre is what produces the exclusivity of the grape of the berry itself. In horses, it's the same thing. The quality of great horses is determined by the excellence that is applied in, in breeding and training that horse from birth. So that continued commitment over time through good times, bad times, great harvest, medium harvest, in between harvest, is, is really what's critical. Piocho Ranch and Happy Canyon Vineyards exist in the Happy Canyon of Santa Barbara, ABA. It's one of the newest viticultural areas in California. It exists on the easternmost edge of the San Ynez Valley and is the warmest climate in the Santa Barbara coastal region. And it has become known for one of the greatest places really in the world to grow Bordeaux varietal grapes. So we're very blessed to have this area and the AVA and these Bordeaux varietals so they're not as ripe and rich as the Napa Valley and they're not as old world and earthy as Bordeaux. We feel like we're right in the sweet spot in between which makes these just beautiful wines and they're very representative of where they came from. We pick the grapes in the middle of the night to very early in the morning. This makes them cold. It slows down the oxidation process. Then we bring them to the winery we destem the grapes, then we hand sort them. Once they're hand sorted, we put them into a fermentation vessel. We practice artisanal and handcrafted winemaking techniques where we use small fermentation units and small oak wooden barrels to do the fermentation. Three to five times a day, we get up on top of the fermentation vessel and we do hand punch downs. Once the fermentation is finished, we put them in all new, neutral, terran sewed French oak barrels. We age the wine for 24 months in the barrel, racked roughly three times. Once the 24 months is over, we put the wines into a bottle and we age it for another year before we release it for sale. One of the great things about a vineyard is it requires a multi-generational commitment. When my kids were tiny, we had lived at this ranch and I was always horse crazy. So we always had horses we were always into various components of farming. But as I thought through it, I was trying to, to think and hope for a legacy that I could bestow on them, something that would be an irreplaceable memory that would give them an opportunity together as their own families 
uh, blossomed to work towards some passion together. And the goal really was to try and provide stewardship to this place that would leave it better than when I found it. And it would give that gift to my sons and daughters for them to be allowed to provide the same stewardship so that at the end of all of our watch, we could look at it and say, we actually did a very good job. We left it in better shape than we found it. And the key to that really was God giving us this unbelievable appellation, which had a special kind of soil in which we could really grow extraordinary berries and remarkable wine. So we started on that path of committing as a family that what we were going to do is commit ourselves to that goal of over decades creating the best wine we could in an environment for a family that we all loved. And that was really being together, having the opportunity and the privilege of producing this great wine and this special spot, and having our, all of our families united in that passion. People ask me, what is my objective in Happy Canyon Vineyards and Piocho Wine? And actually, my objective in both of those is to produce great people. And, and those people happen to be my family. So my hope is that by my kids watching the stewardship of this place, looking and understanding the difficulty of commitment, of dedication, of loyalty to a product, to excellence, that they'll share a combined passion of producing great wine, which in turn will produce another generation of great children and the blossoming of the Barrick family.